So we Igor Shesterkin. Actually, come a little closer. Not a little bit closer. This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my life. See, Ranger fans, a little, little, little nervous about Igor Shesterkin's performance, worrying if he's going to be able to bounce back. He has a sub 900 save percentage. If you were to say at the beginning of the season, I think Igor Shesterkin would have a sub 900 save percentage, I think you're smoking crack. So, yeah, I can understand the worries regarding his performance. But, uh, let's let all the goals play, and then we'll get into a determination whether did Shesterkin play bad, or was it just some bad defense and or bad breaks? Back to Haig. Some room in the circle for a shot and a goal. Get a chance. Here he is in front of the net. He's inside of Schneider and now a block up high here's Kolasar he scores Nick Juan William Carrier Eichel's out one a one-on-one goal game now they have a two goal lead Barbashev puck is through traffic and much like that the first and he had a follow-up shot and they score straight coast not deep enough all right, we, so we see the four goals. I mean, let's go into the breakdown. I mean, the first goal, where Cotter shoots it, goes off for Paul. Not much I can blame on Shesterkin there. Changes direction on him. That's really not on him. That's just an unfortunate bounce. All right, so that's one not to blame for Shesterkin. So we'll go to the second goal, and Panarin has a turnover at the blue line. Kolasar goes the other way. He rips this glove side, and he scores. Now, it was a break. But I would say from that shot and that distance, I think Shesterkin should have had that one. That might be nitpicking. So, But if you do want to blame him for a goal in this game, okay, I'll give you the second goal on Vegas. Which, to be fair to him, the situation leading up to him, and not necessarily Panarin's fault, he gets the puck in a bad spot. Just overall, that situation wasn't great for Shesterkin, but I'll blame him on that one if we want to nitpick. Now, the third goal... You just look at it, you're like, wow, that's a bad one. Shesterkin's got to have that. But Barbashev shoots this. Marsha so with a great tip. In close. No opportunity for Shesterkin to adjust. Yeah, that's a fantastic goal by the Vegas Golden Knights. I'm not going to blame Shesterkin on that one. And as for the fourth and final goal he lets up in this game, the shot is wide. Way wide of the net. Caroms off the backboards. Goes right to Marsha so. So for the night... Igor Sturkin save percentage, not great. Doesn't look good statistically, but I can't sit there and watch the film and say, oh, this is all on him. I just think it's some unfortunate bad bounces. And I have done videos on Sturkin in the past, and there's been some games where he's just not looked like himself. Is he having a bad statistical year? Absolutely. Is it... A down performance? Yeah, I would even agree with that. I think Shesterkin is one of those goalies, when he is on, when he is locked in, in that mode, can steal you games. Make you win games, you have no fucking reason to win. So for me, when I'm looking at Shesterkin, is he cooked? Is he washed? No. This might be a down year for him in the blip of his career, statistically. But I do have to say this. In a playoff series, if the Rangers can right the ship, make playoffs, and you know keep doing well, right, just bounce back. If Shesterkin gets hot, I am still terrified to play against him in a series. All that talent just doesn't disappear with a snap of your fingers. It's not how that works. And we've seen goalies this season like Stuart Skinner. Beginning of the season, absolutely horrific, horrific statistics. But in this huge winning streak for the Oilers, he found his game, and the Oilers did play better defense in front of him as well, and he's been one of the best goalies in the NHL. I think if the Rangers can fix a little bit of their defense and Shesterkin can kind of build some more confidence, they'll be fine. I don't think Shesterkin's wash. I don't think he's uh, already past his prime. I mean, shit, he's still in his <laughs> late 20s. I think he's completely fine in that regard. But I, I do believe some of the Rangers' defense is to blame. But I also would give some blame to Shesterkin that he doesn't seem as sharp as usual. The one thing I'll give him, he might not play sharp at times. 
But that goalie pad setup, I absolutely love. Before I head out of here, I do have something serious to touch upon. So for y'all that do know of my other project, Talking Shit Podcast, my co-host father passed away. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to the original video. It, it was rough to watch. Um, I kind of want to leave a few words of support and a few words of kind of appreciation. So DEG, I'll go with his uh, acronym. It's a great dude. And he's overcome a lot in life. And the reason why I have a podcast project with him is he has a good heart. And his father was a funny dude, very interactive, uh, very supportive of any projects, any supportive of even people associated, his friends, friends of DG. Um, his dad would support their projects and just be a tremendous person. I Going through loss is always difficult. And I, I just, I really want to say to D, uh, man, dude, listen, I love you, bro. We talked on the phone and you know, if you ever need anything, I'm here for you. And, you know, something even with my own mother's health issues that I've kind of made clear on this channel is, you know, make sure you tell the people close to you, you love him. And that's what DEG always did with his dad. And because life is short, life can come at you very fast. I, I just, I really want to send my condolences. I really just want to kind of talk about, and this is his YouTube name, Blind Bats, funny interactions. He was a great dude, charismatic, hilarious on the phone. He'll be really missed. It's very difficult to lose someone so close. But we always got to look back at those really fond memories, those good times, and realize that person is always going to be with us in spirit. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel both channels, and I'll see you in the next one.